up, make your own lick it, sniff stickers. How to stay on tune with a tuning fork. Get your own back on those drink bottle burgers. And how to find all those super gross germs that lurk in your bedroom. Why are you smelling your shoes, Donna? <laughs> well, I'm worried about what might be lurking inside them. And I'm especially worried now that Lara's on one of her germ hunting expeditions. Look at him! Billy is just wallowing in filth! What a mess! Pew! Those boots! They stink! How can I get Billy to clean up his act? I know! I'll show him exactly how gross he is! Mum's spotlessly clean kitchen is about to become a germ factory. Right, here's my lab equipment. And Mum's jam jars that she just sterilised. They'll be bug free. Now, jug, water, a bit more. Now some germ hatching gelatin. Couple of spoons full, stir it up. Now into the jars. And my sticky gelatin mix will be the perfect breeding ground for any disgusting germs. They'll thrive on it. Now string. Cut off five bits about this long. Back on with the rubber gloves so nothing gets contaminated. And into the jars go the string. They'll get sticky enough to catch any germ. And now for the germ hunt. <laughs> It's Jordan's birthday today. He loves collecting things to stick on his school books. So I've cut him out some paper strawberries. There, birthday card finished. I'll seal it with a strawberry. Oh, it won't stick. Hey, why don't I turn these into strawberry flavoured stickers? I've got a glass of warm water, some strawberry cooking essence, and Mum's supply of gelatin crystals. First I put one big teaspoon of gelatin into the warm water. It needs a good stir to make sure it dissolves. Time for some strawberry essence. It smells yummy. A good slope of strawberry and lots more stirring to finish off. My mixture makes a kind of glue and it smells like strawberries. Now I'm going to paint a thick layer of my glue onto the back of each strawberry. I need to make sure the whole thing is covered. Perfect! Now I'll leave them to dry. Well, they smell good. They taste good. And they're sticky! Gelatin is a type of protein that comes from the skin and bones of animals. When it's mixed with water, the protein molecules expand and hang on to each other. That's why it forms a sticky gel. As the water evaporates, the gel sets and sticks like glue. But when you lick the dry glue, the liquid in saliva makes the gelatin protein sticky all over again. Happy birthday, Jordan! I made you some lick and sniff stickers. Hope you like strawberry. Yum, eh? Well, you're stuck with it now. <laughs> cool, I gotta try those. Yep, they smell. And they stick. Kinda like those germs in Billy's bedroom, I think. My experiment to show Billy what a pigsty is living in is underway. First port of call, Billy's festering football boots. Wipe the string around. Ew! Nasty germs for sure. Another piece of string to collect wall germs. Hey, stinky boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Off with those shoes. Socks. Ugh. And toe jam. Ew! Grotty boy has no idea what a germ factory he is. Now for the real germ war zone. The toilet. Yuck! What I do for science. Okay, back to the lab. Pop each piece of string into its jar. On go the lids. 
and label them. So I've got the terrible toilet, Billy's bedroom, toe jam, that festering football boot, and one with a germ-free piece of string to compare all the others with. Now I'll pop the jam jars back up here where it's warm and wait for those germs to fester. Miss <laughs> Sally playing her guitar. She's just a beginner. And she's got a long way to go. Wow, that sounds pretty bad. I think her guitar is out of tune. This is what she needs. It's a tuning fork. When I tap it on something hard, it always plays the note E. Now Sally can get the E note sounding right. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about her playing. But I do have another trick up my sleeve. Check this out. My tuning fork makes the water go crazy. Cool, huh? All sound is vibration moving through the air. When the tuning fork is making its note, it's vibrating so fast that we can't even see it. But when it touches the water, we can see the vibration as it shakes the surface. Well, I could tune the guitar, but I don't think there's a tuning fork in the world that could help Sally's playing. Being in tune is really important, especially for an orchestra. Before every performance, all the instruments tune up first to make sure there are no horrible sounding notes. La 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 la! Wow! I wish we could get a tuning fork for Dana. She's doing her singing homework and it's terrible. Time we heard about somebody else's homework. Oh man! Here's my science homework. Do a detailed drawing of an ant. Well, I've got my ant, but I can hardly see it. I've got to get a better look at it. What about a magnifying glass? Yeah. Here it goes. That's better. But I can't really see much in detail. What about two magnifying glasses? Surely two are better than one. Nope. Now the ant looks distorted. How can I get it to be in focus? Yeah! That's working! Cool! A giant ant! I can see it perfectly now. Zach has just made his own microscope. With just one lens, the image is slightly distorted because the different colours bend at different angles as they pass through the lens. But positioned in the right place, the second lens corrects that distortion and makes everything look much bigger. Wow! I didn't know ants had little pincers at the front. What a monster! It's a warm afternoon and I've got it made in the shade thanks to my bottle of fruity cordial. There's plenty left for later too. It's my all-time favourite flavour. Time for another drink. What the? I've been burglarised. I know how to catch this cordial cat burglar. I'll use a thumbtack to poke a few holes in the side of the bottle. Like this. Now I refill the bottle with cordial. No cordial cat burglar could resist this. When it's full, I quickly screw the lid on tight. And look! The cordial stops running out of the hole. Back to the scene of the crime. I'll lay the bait and wait to catch a thief. I've got a feeling I won't have to wait too long. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> You're busted, Marcus. <laughs> when Nicole screwed the lid back on the bottle, some of the cordial leaked out. This thinned out the air at the top, creating a pocket of low pressure there. Because air flows from high pressure to low pressure, the higher pressure air outside 
tries to push inside the bottle. The only way in is through Nicole's holes, so the air pushes against them, stopping the cordial from flowing out. But when Marcus unscrewed the lid, the air pressure inside became the same as outside, and the cordial poured all over him. <laughs> Looks like crime doesn't pay, Marcus. <laughs> Naughty Marcus, he got found out that time. Yeah, and I think Billy's about to find out exactly how germ-ridden his bedroom is. OK, let's see how my little germ garden's growing. Oh, yeah, the germs have multiplied like crazy in that gelatin mixture. Gross aroma. Now this Billy has to see. Hey, Billy, come and see your germs in a jar. Come on, grotty boy. You are going to be grossed out. This way. That's the clean string. See, no germs. But your toe jams turned into something truly unspeakable. And worst of all, that fetching lump there is from your football boots. Even the toilet's not as germ-ridden as what's in your room. I think Billy's finally realised how grubby he really is. The germs Lara collected are actually called bacteria. Our immune system protects us from most bacteria, which live almost everywhere. But we normally can't see them unless they grow in large numbers. Those colonies of bacteria grow by feeding off the proteins in the gelatin. By the way, bacteria make those lumpy round shapes. Those white fluffy lumps from the football boots are colonies of fungus that like to live on people's feet. Disgusting, but true. Looks like Billy's gone into a room cleaning frenzy. Lesson well taught, I'd say. Good one, Mr Tidy Nick. Now I better get Mum to re-sterilise those jars before we end up with Billy's toe jam on our toast. Ew, toe jam on toast? I'm going to go clean up my bedroom now. <laughs> well, wait up, Dana, I'll come too because we've reached the end of another show. See, See you next, next time. time.